Near the beginning of the Parsha, the Torah recounts the declaration that's known as Vidui Masros. This is after a certain period of time, a certain number of years, uh, a person is supposed to make a declaration that they've given, that they fulfilled all the different mitzvos of the agricultural the tithes from, from this produce, from that produce, and they've done it all correctly. And the, the, the tone of the psukim is Hashem, I've done your mitzvahs, I've done what you asked of me, please, you know, bring your blessings upon Klal Yisrael. And the term that is used in the Gemara for this is, again, as we said, vidui masros. Now, vidui, we would normally translate as confession. Um, we're going to be saying a lot of vidui over the coming uh, days and weeks. Uh, normally, we think of vidui when a person is doing tshuva, a person sinned, uh, they confess their sins, Takarash Baruch Hu. It's such an interesting thing that this declaration that's made in the parsha, uh, which is all about what a person did well, is called vidui. It's it's a striking it's a striking thing. I don't want to go into the detail now. The Sforno has a pshat that he explains that if not for the sin of Klal Yisrael at the golden calf, we wouldn't be giving Maser to Leviim. We would be giving Maser to the firstborn of each family. So the person making these declarations stating that he gave the Maser as is appropriate, there's an implied recognition of the sin of Klal Yisrael and the fact that it doesn't go to the firstborns of each family. Instead, it goes to Leviim. It's an interesting idea. But what I'd really like to reflect on for a few moments is a comment from Rav Salvechik, Zichron of Rachab. And Rav Salvechik explains that this vidui is about what a person did well. But he, said what you, but he says what you see from there is that effective vidui, effective confessing of one's sins, and by extension, effective tshuva has to have two very different components. Of course, it has to be that a person understands and recognizes what they've done wrong. And that's what we're going to be doing a lot of over the coming period of time. But if a person only thinks about what they've done wrong and doesn't see their potential and doesn't reflect at all on their successes, the vidui is not going to be meaningful because all a person thinks about is their flaws and how terrible they are. And if I look in the mirror and all I see is this terrible human being, yeah, I'll do a great job of telling God all the Averos that I did, but if I don't believe I'm going to do any better, what kind of vidui is that? The whole purpose of the confession is, God, I've done these sins, and I feel bad about it, and give me the opportunity to do better because I want to do better. And implied in that is, I believe I can do better. So he says that vidui, effective vidui, and effective tshuva has both components, both a recognition of what I've done wrong, but a recognition of all the good that I can do, which means a recognition and a belief that I have great goodness inside of me. And that's why when a person is recognizing how they did these mitzvahs over these years to the T, it's also called vidui. It's a very important thing to reflect on in the coming days. We're going to be getting slichos uh, Saturday night, God willing. It's not only how terrible I am that I did this Avera and that Avera. It's how disturbed I am that I did those Averos, but the reason I'm disturbed is because I really believe that I'm very good and that I have great potential. And God, I need your help to tap into that potential. And I need you to bless me with a good year so that I can tap into that potential. That's an effective vidui. Have a wonderful Shabbos, and may we all be Zoha as we step up in the tshuva season. May we all merit that all of our tshuva is accepted, and we should all merit the Take care.